Hello everyone, I've got the August Your Creative Studio Vintage Ephemera Box to share with you today. Um, just look at this cute little business card from um, Amanda. Be playful, be curious. So it looks as if we've got um, an autumnal theme going on here. I just love that little squirrel. So, so cute. Um, it also looks as, as well as if um, Amanda has changed her packaging. I really like that. So let me show you what's in this month's box. Now I have taken everything out of the plastic um, packaging. We've got this beautiful book paper um, here and we've got um, a couple of each design. Let me just make sure that um, I'm in camera shot. So we've got um, the wind in a frolic and you can see that we've got this in this colourway um, and the craft colour as well. So manila and craft and that um, seems to go through uh, for all the pages um, in this set. Oh they're just absolutely beautiful. Cinderella or the little glass slipper um, just absolutely beautiful flower fairies of the wayside dreamland beauty and the beast um, so some really lovely um, book pages here water lilies as well I think that's gorgeous next up we've got this um, pack of postage um, stamps let me see if I can um, slide slide this out I did pop this back into the cellophane before everything fell apart we've got this beautiful postcard here which of course you can use in your projects um, as well and some gorgeous faux stamp designs these these are stickers and you've got two um, of each design here. Um, William Morris, oh my goodness me, I just love these. These are gorgeous. Um, so just a quick fl uh, flick through of the different um, designs of stamps um, in this fabulous fabulous package um here i will enjoy using these a lot and we've got some squirrels um but it's sort of main mainly nature nature theme which i think is is just absolutely lovely some bears um oh that one um goes with that one there i did um i have opened this once already and um, thought i was recording and i'd um, only photographed it so this is take two but just look how how gorgeous these are beautiful beautiful designs Next up, we've got one of these um, paper pads. I love using these for tags and we've got three different designs here. So we've got that one there. We've got this one, aren't these gorgeous? And this design here. So that's the um, paper pad for this month. We've also got this um, beautiful box of vintage tags. So in a little matchbox type um, packaging. So let me just um, take, take these out. Um, and again, we've got several different designs um, in both cream and craft, which I think is just absolutely lovely. Some beautiful designs here. These are all different um, by the looks of things um, as well. I love these and um, again some really nice designs on craft paper so you know those are great fun for adding to journals too. We have some lace kind of um, washi tape it's it's like a lace sticker. Um, this is, is really fun and I presume this just um, peels back like this. Let's have a look and see if I can um, if I can do this. Here we go. So that will be fun for adding um, to projects. Um, I like that um, a lot. I've never seen anything like that before. So that will be fun to use. We've got a couple of cling stamps. So we've got this one here with the squirrel design. Um, isn't that adorable? I just absolutely love that. So that's what that looks like. And then we've got this other design here again, which is another squirrel. Look at that one adorable absolutely love that so so that's those let me just pop those um there like like that we've got some of the your creative um studio little and um, paper ephemera tags here these are all the same design they're on the most beautiful quality paper um i like those um a lot we've got some washi tape so um in a black and white design so let me just see if i can um open open this so that's that design so um feathers that's really sweet. I like that. Um, these are just really versatile washi tapes to use these black and white designs as well. I like using these. We've got um, a little um, booklet here and this has got tickets um, in it and they're all different. Um, dozens of different designs. Um, I love these. Absolutely fabulous. Really nice quality um, as well. So that's what that looks like. So those are really versatile for using in collage. Those will be fun. So that's that. We have also got um, some stickers here. Let's see if I can get these um, out of the, the box without spilling them um, everywhere. <laughs> um, again, some gorgeous designs. We've got, we've got feathers. We've got little flowers. I like these. 
birds. Um, we've got some Christmas themed ones as well, North Pole. So, you know, that will be useful to put aside for Christmas. Normally the Christmas ephemera um, arrives um, late, so it's nice to have it early to use. Um, chocolate sayers. We've also got some um, squirrels again, another North Pole one. Um, here we go. More. Uh, oh, bunnies this time. Um, typewriter. So loads and loads and loads of, uh, of different designs here. I like these um, a lot. I like the fact that they're on craft paper um, as well well so you know you get an idea of the kinds of um, designs that um, are in this isn't that one cute um some owls some leaves so many different designs bees as well who doesn't love um, bees and some um, books so that's um, a great range we've also got some of the generic your creative studio stickers um, with an autumnal theme so squirrels and acorns and oak leaves um, absolutely love that that's beautiful um, and then some papers um, so we've got five sheets of handmade paper and this is just absolutely lovely and um, they're all the same so we've got five sheets of this to play with um, as well. I think that's a beautiful box of ephemera and I'm really excited about playing with this. We've got some um, different things that we haven't seen in previous boxes this month as well which I really like so let me put my thinking cap on and let's see what we can create with some of these lovely items. As usual I'm going to be working in my usual scraps journal and I want to do something with this page here. I'd pulled out a couple of pieces um, last month and these are from um, previous Your Creative Studio boxes. Um, so let's try and create um, a small collage on this piece of paper here. Um, do I want to ink around the edges? I'm not sure but what I do want to do, I've, put, I've laid out everything in front of me just so that um, I can see what's what. We've already got um, a kind of iris flower on, on here like this so I want to use something that isn't too autumnal for this page page here. I like that butterfly. Um, so again, is that two butterflies I've pulled out? So butterflies are clearly calling to me. So let's start off by doing something with with this. Um, you see that one's absolutely beautiful because the greens go really well with the background. Um, and that one's absolutely lovely there as well. Oh my goodness me. Now I don't know which one to um, choose. Let me just get rid of these little um, tabs that are stuck in the top. Oh gosh, I like both both of these. I think that one stands out um, a little bit more. Um, I like that. So let's start off by inking around the edges of this one here first. Here we go, just to make that stand out a little bit more on that beautiful patterned paper um, for the background. So that's um, a starting point, isn't it? So there we go. So that's, that's that done. I do think um, I want to... Um, call, um, round the corners off on this paper here as well. So let's do let's do that. So this is the large X cut um, corner corner rounder I'm using here. I don't think I'm going to um, ink that. I really like how that looks. Now I do want to add um, an eyelet to this here. So I've got my eyelets off to the side, and I'm just winging this, guys. Um, I, I quite often get um, get comments left regarding the Your Creative Studio boxes from those of you that say, "Well, you know, I love all the elements that are in the boxes, but I don't know where to start." Just start off with something really simple because it honestly it just gets your creative juices flowing just a start somewhere and the let and the rest um just seems to come so there we go we've got that um i've crunched it a bit at the top but that's okay so let's just ink around the edges of this too just where i've crunched that um that edge and that will disguise disguise that there we go and then i've got um, a piece of burlap here in fact i pulled out a piece of cotton as well but i do think that burlap is going to look better so i've got my threading um, needle this is just a bent over piece of wire that um, you've all seen me use a billion times before let's just um, thread this through you see a simple page can be turned into something much more interesting just by adding a few you know little details there we go i love that that's that's really cute and so that's going to go down there like like that um i think i'll ink um, around the edge of this as well um, and let's decide where we're going to put this on the page now I'm just using um, a glue stick these papers are really thin so a glue stick is going to be absolutely fine for this let's apply a bit um, in the center just applying mainly to the um, edges so let's pop this down there like like that where's my bone folder disappeared to 
make sure I've got that um, straight. There we go. And then, um, in fact, actually, because this is a bit thicker, I think I'm going to use some um, three, three in one. So we'll just apply the glue just around the um, outside of this. Here we are. Stick that down as well. I want that there. And that is just so pretty without doing very much. We've just got something that looks really cute. Now, I think that's going to look absolutely beautiful on that page there. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I don't want to cover up too much of that beautiful um, wallpaper. This is just um, a vintage wallpaper sample. So I think I'm going to stick that down just like that. And that's our first page done. Now I've also got these three other little tags that I pulled out from that box that um, all match this um, scheme really well. So I've just put some thinner cotton through the tops of these just because um, burlap on these um, I just think would add too much bulk. So I just need to make some kind of pocket for these to um, slot into. Now I thought I might be able to do something with this um, washi lace, whatever you want to call it. Um, so I don't know whether you can remember, I was using these plastic pouches to make my ephemeral pouches um, last week um, and I thought I could maybe make a pocket um, out of this let me just check the um, width of this piece of piece of paper where's my ruler what does this um, measure let's um, try and retrieve my ruler so that measures um, four four and a quarter just done 4.2 um, inches so let's have a look let's um, let's cut a piece off first so that we know what we're we're playing with. Um, so if I cut it at four and a half and then I've got wiggle room. So if I cut it um, here, that's um, that's a good point to cut and makes it easier to deal with um, as well. So what I'm going to do is just stick this down to this piece of um, plastic wallet. Now, is this going to be sticky enough? I suppose there's only one way to find out isn't there so I'm just, in fact if I try and centralize it um, as well so I'm just going to stick that down just oh whoops Daisy I've torn it um, that's okay press that down really gently um, not quite straight but that's okay so I'm just going to cut myself a pocket so this is what I've cut if I put it um, on a piece of black cardstock you can see what I've done I've also straightened up the bottom as well now this um, is just slightly too big I need to trim it just to the edge of these boxes um, here so I show you I need to trim it there so again I'm going to take this off to the paper trimmer just to make sure that I've got that straight and I'm going to sew this on using my sewing machine so let me just show you where I've sewn I've sewn all the way around the edge here um, by using that um, clear wallet as well it's not covering up any of the beautiful wallpaper but it's added um, a nice design detail um, you can see the stitching if I turn the page over the other way so I'm just going to add my little tags and um, that just adds something pretty without covering up that gorgeous um, vintage wallpaper um, and of course it makes a really pretty spread I love that so next I want to make a little bag with this beautiful beautiful paper now I'm trying to decipher which is the right and which is the wrong side um, I don't think it really matters um, so let's just um, fold fold this um, so I'm just going to fold that there like that. Um, I just want a very, very slight um, overlap. You'll see why in a second. This is the easiest way ever to make um, a little paper paper bag. Um, and you can use this to make any size of, of bag. Let's just um, fold, fold that up like that. Then I'm just going to open it out. And I don't know whether you can see, I'm just going to snip here like this um, at a diagonal. there like that and I'll do the same on this side here like so and there as well and then I can glue my little paper bag so let's um, fold it up again so I'm just going to stick some glue in fact I'll use my three um, in one so let's have a look let's make sure I get this right so a tiny weeny um, little bit of glue just on the outside here like like this not not too much um, and again I can just apply some here um, as well there we are and then fold fold that over there like that and then I just want some glue here here 
and here and again I'm just going to glue that down to wipe away any excess from my my table um, isn't that just pretty I love that so we need to find a way now to decorate it I'm going to decorate my little paper bag with one of these um, stamps I'm going to use this little squirrel here I always find these an absolute nightmare to um, get the plastic off it does come you've just got to grab it at the um, right right angle so let me just go and battle with this off off camera oh here we go is that um, a little lip there to pull from here we go here it comes there we go um so i'm just going to put one of these magnets here just to hold my bag um in place so let's just pop that in place let me just move my journal out of the way um, just so that I've got um, a flat surface and I'm going to use some memento ink and espresso truffle to ink with can you just about see this make sure I'm in camera for you so let's ink up my stamp press down and I can just keep um, inking away and stamping until I'm happy with the image. But um, isn't that just cute? I should probably have um, stamped this off on a scratch piece of uh, cardstock first because um, it takes a couple of attempts to condition um, a new stamp. But that should be that should be fine that's beautiful I've gone over my squirrel um, with a couple more coats of ink so we've now got um, a really crisp image and I don't know whether you can see we've had a bit of a faux pas at the top here I wanted to cut myself a semi circle and um, it was a drastic fail a major fail um, the paper is just too thin I did even try um, folding over some regular copier paper as well and sandwiching that in between but that didn't work either so let me just show you what to do if that ever happens to you. I've just grabbed um, a jar. This is my wax seals and um, I've just drawn around the base of it. It's a bit larger than um, I anticipated, but, you know, that's OK. That's fine. And so I'm just going to cut this out by, by hand. And my piece of paper is now, now saved. So I'm just going to do this off camera just so that I can um, get up close and not screw it up um, anymore. I've just cut um, a little bit off the top um, as well, just because it was um, a little bit pointy um, there. So that's much better. So I am going to stick that down there like that. I do want some kind of um, a tag to go um, inside it. So I've pulled out um, this um, autumnal piece of vellum, which was again from a previous Your Creative Studio box. And I think I'm going to glue this down to a piece of cream cardstock. Um, this is a bit too flimsy um, on its own, so let me just cut myself um, a tab, tag shape, take that over to the other side so that it's nice and symmetrical. I'm cutting this first um, just because I'm going to take this to the sewing machine um, again and that's how I'm going to attach my vellum. I'll apply a little bit of glue to start off with just to hold it in place. So there we go, that's the um, tag shape. So let's move move that out of the way. And then I just need to stick stick this down. Um, so what I'll do is I'll apply some glue um, just around the edges. What have I done with my glue stick? So we'll just apply some glue just around the edge like, like this. In fact, I think I'll apply it all over just in case we can see um, any residue because that will really bug me if we if we can. And it was this part of the vellum that I wanted to use here. So just make sure that um, I've got that far enough over that I can just um, trim away any excess. I'm looking for my bone folder um, again. I'm buried underneath all of these beautiful Your Creative Studio goodies. Isn't that just pretty? I love that. So I'm just going to trim um, around the edges. I'll just use my scissors to, to do that. I'll go all the way um, around and then I'm just going to take this off to the sewing machine and just sew all the way around just to hold that vellum in place and I just love the way that um, stitching looks anyway. So I've applied my glue all over the back let's just pop this down and I'm going to leave this for a minute or two just because um, this paper is so fragile um, I just want to make sure that that glue um, is thoroughly dried before I add my tag to that little pocket. So in the meantime, what I've decided um, to do just to jazz this up a little bit is add one of these cute little squirrel um, stickers. So let's just add a small amount of frayed burlap just before we stick 
stick this on. Here we go, just, just like this, just to frame it. Yep, I like how that looks. And then let's just use the pokey tool just to pull this sticker away from, from its backing. And I just want that to go down there just, just like that. That's just a, a nice amount of detail, very simplistic, but um, it's a nice touch. And I'm just going to very, very carefully just pop my tag um, inside. Oh, that's, that's cool. I really like how that looks. Just the right size as well. So next I want to do something with this um, page here. Let's see if I can um, slide this one out. Let's um, pop that um, out of the way. Now I'm just going to see if I can peel this um, washi tape because I'm going to replace it. So I obviously didn't um, add any additional glue. I'm going to use this washi tape here, which again is from um, a previous Your Creative Studio box. Um, this has got toadstools and mushrooms. I think it was from um, one of the autumn boxes last year, but it just goes really well with the um, theme. So I'm going to stick this down instead. And then I want to use some of those gorgeous postage um, stamps that came um, in the set. This um, washi is actually quite, quite sticky. So I'm just going to pop, pop that there like that. Just make sure I get that straight. And then I'm just going to cut off the, the excess. Then I've chosen four of these postage stamps that I want to use. I'm just going to ink around the edge to start off with. I need some more um, ink on my sponge. And then I'm going to stick these down like, like this and just make myself a little mini collage using the postage stamps. In fact, I think I'll have that the other way, the other way round like that. And maybe that one, just because the colours suit the washi tape um, a little bit better. I love how that looks. So I'm just going to um, peel the backing um, off these. Let me just get my little um, craft mat because I don't want to spoil my table. Um, am I happy with that layout or did I prefer it the other way around? I think I like it like that, actually. Don't overthink it, Nina. It's not important. So let's try and get the backing um, off these these stamps, at least I think they're stickers. Yes, yes, they are. Oh, come on. Here we go. I've got it. So let's have a look. How did I want that to go? So let's pop the first one down first and then the rest should be should be easier. I love that. That's just lovely. So let me just um, slide that back in. So that's going to go under there like like that and that's another spread done and I just think those work really nicely together really autumnal theme love that so next up I want to make um, a tag um, which design do I want to use these are just all absolutely beautiful so we've got that design there that one and this one this one here which one do I want to which one do I want to use? I think I'm going to use this one. I really like um, that. I do want to um, put this onto a piece of cardstock just to thicken it up a bit. So let me just go and get some. Here we go. I've just um, applied glue all over the back of this. I'm just going to stick it down to this piece of cream cardstock. That would just um, stabilise it and just make it a little bit um, sturdier to work on. So I'm just going to take this off to the paper trimmer now and just trim around the edges. And as always, let's just cut this into um, a tag shape. Pop that one on the other side again, just to make sure that these are symmetrical. I'm really sticky. From all the glue I've been using. There we go, that's um, that's fine. Let's pop those in the bin. Um, then what do I want to do next? I'm going to ink around the edges to start to start off with. In fact, I think I'm going to use um, a darker ink. So we'll use some vintage photo this time. There we go, that's nice and um, nice and dark. I think frayed burlap would have just been too light. And then I'm just going to use um, some of this packaging that the cling stamp um, came in. I'm just going to peel this apart. There we go, that will do fine. Um, then what I want to do is just use my ruler just to tear so that um, I get um, a rough 
a rough edge. Let's do it this way round to start off with. It might be um, easier. Let's make sure I've got that straight. There we go. So I'm just going to tear like, like this, just so that we get that deckled um, edge look. Here we are. It does not have to be perfect. In fact, the less even it is, the, the better. So I'm using my stamping platform again. So let's just pop pop that there. Have I already torn that edge? Yes, I have. In fact, if I do it in the middle, then if I want to tear a little bit more, um, I can do. So let's have it there like that. I just want to make sure that um, I've got it even from one side to the other. That should do fine. So there we go. And again, I'm just going to use my Memento Ink and Espresso Truffle. And I can stamp this as many times as I need to until I've got um, a really crisp image. Let's just move my ruler out of the way just so that my surface is flat. What a pretty stamp. Isn't that just gorgeous? I think that's fine. There we go. So let's just um, wipe the ink off. Move that um, out of the way. And I'm just going to, again, just tear around the edge of this. How shall I do it? I just want to make sure that I've got that nice and um, nice and straight. There we go. That's, um, that's perfect. And about here like that, I think. And that is my focal image sorted. How cute. Now, I don't know whether you agree. I think that just gets lost on that background. So I've cut myself a piece of uh, Cardi paper, um, K-H-A-D-I, which is cotton, um, cotton rag paper. And that just looks so much better. I've also cut um, another piece of frayed burlap and I'm just going to stitch that um, on the top like that. So just add some um, messy stitching and then I think I'll have that over the top like that. So I'm just going to take this off to the sewing machine. So I've added some messy stitching um, at the top. In fact, I'm just going to unpeel this um, just because it's gone a bit um, a bit wonky. I've also added some stitching. I don't know whether you can see around the squirrel. You can see it better from the back. So I'm just going to glue, glue that down. And that is my tag done. Now I've decided to add my tag to this pocket here. I've just made another one of those pockets um, using a leftover piece of one of these file folders. Um, now this is what um, I used to make my ephemera holder for my last video. Um, and this is just full of Your Creative Studio ephemera so if anybody's interested in seeing how I made this I'll leave the link to the video in the description box below um, but all I did was just um, stick some of this um, lace trim down to that and I've used that to make a little pocket um, and the reason being um, that I didn't want to cover up any of this cute little squirrel so now you can um, still see it in its full entirety I just think that's beautiful I've managed to get some super embellishments for my journal from this box absolutely loved it so, of course, we've got the tag here. We've got this pretty spread. Um, I just think that's gorgeous. Um, and also this spread here, which I think is really simplistic. Um, but, you know, sometimes simplicity is just equally as beautiful, isn't it? So we've got that little um, tag there in the little pocket that we made using some of that homemade paper. Now, I'm still to do something with um, quite a few of these items. I've got the stickers, which I haven't touched today, the washi tape um, and these. But um, I've just run out of time so um, I'll save that for another another video. So I'm going to leave it there for today and as I've said I will be back um, at some stage um, sharing ideas as to what we can do with the rest of the items that were included um, in the box um, and for anybody who's new to my channel I'll leave the link to Your Creative Studio in the description box below. It is a monthly subscription box um, and this is a good indication as to the types of things that are included each month. Um, I'll also leave the link to the video showing how I made my journal um, so there's a, few, a full tutorial showing how I made this from start to finish and um, there's also a playlist as well showing how I made all of the other pages throughout this journal um, and of course as I've said I will leave the link to the video showing how I made the um, ephemera booklet as well so if you've enjoyed my video today and it's given you some ideas as to how you can use the contents, as always, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up. Do let me know what you think in the comments below. But most importantly, thanks for watching. Take care, everyone, and I'll see you all again soon. Bye for now.